Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for Game 4 of the 76th Incarnation of the World Series. 77th. I'm sorry, I said 76th in the last game. It is the 77th World Series. 76th, that's right, because they're 1 1 4. Alright. So, anyway, I digress. The Milwaukee Brewers are visiting the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pirates have a 2 to 1 game lead in the series after their 3 0 victory last night against the Brewers here in downtown Pittsburgh. And starting for the Pirates this evening is Bruce Keeson on three days rest, and he is facing Paul Molitor, leadoff batter. 6 9. Keeson yields a single to start the game. So Molitor is on first. Ed Ott is going to hold Molitor, and we all know that Paul Molitor likes to steal no matter what. So that becomes a 113, and he just gets in underneath the tag. He almost slides off the bag, but uh, Garner is not able to get him. Molitor on second base facing Les Conner. 4 9 fly ball to left field. Bill Robinson is back underneath it, and he makes the catch. And uh, too close to third, Molitor is not going to try in advance. One down, Cecil Cooper comes up. Cooper batting 308 during the season. Takes a swing at Keeson's pitch. Two, ten, hard ground ball to Willie Stargell. Stargell picks it up. He trot, uh, steps on first base for out number two. Molitor stays on second. So with two outs, man on second, Ben Ogilvy comes up. Two, four, hard ball back to the box. Keeson scoops it up over to Stargell for out number three. So that is the end of the top of the first. So let's see what the Pirates have in store. Pulling out all the stops, Larry Sorensen starting on three days rest as well. Omar Moreno, center fielder. 3-10, ground ball hard to Robin Yount. Scoops it up, gets it over to Cecil Cooper for out number one. Sorry about that. That'll bring up Bill Madlock, third bagger. Mad Dog facing source. Sorensen's pitch, 1-8, hard chopper to Sal Bando. He scoops it up, gets it over to Cooper for out number two. So far, Sorensen keeping it on the ground. He really needs to do that against Parker as well. Here we go, Dave Parker facing Sorensen. 4-10, center field X result. Thomas fields at a 1 with a 14. Fly ball to center field. Gorman Thomas is back for it. Underneath it makes the catch for out number 3. So that is going to result in a scoreless baseball game after the first inning. Top of the second, it's the Brew Crew. They know what they got to do. Just can they? Bruce Keeson, ace on the mound, facing Charlie Moore. 4-9, fly ball to left field. Bill Robinson gets underneath it. Makes the easy catch. Charlie Moore is the first out. Top of the second, facing Gorman Thomas now, center fielder. 4-11, back to the box, X result. Keeson's fielding at a 2 with a 12, and Keeson boots it. He cannot grab a hold of it. Thomas makes it to first base on the error. E1 for Keeson. Thomas is on first. Brings up Robin Yount. Man on first. Keeson on the mound. 1 7. Pops it up behind shortstop. Tim Foley and Bill Robinson converging. Foley calls Robinson and Madlock off. Makes the catch. That is two away. Top of the second. Gorman Thomas still standing on first. Sal Bando, third baseman, comes to the plate. Keeson's pitch. That's a 5-4 fly ball to center field. Omar Marino is back. This one is tracking deep to the warning track. He makes the catch. 
Bando really popped that one, but it did not have enough carry. So that's going to take us to the bottom of the second. Larry Sorensen takes the mound. Willie Stargell takes the right side of the plate. Here comes Sorensen's pitch. There's that two column and that pesky seven. Catches Stargell swinging. He has been living off the two column this whole third, this whole time in Three Rivers. Only connected once. Bill Robinson. Sorensen's pitch to the left fielder, 5-4. X result to Bando at third. He's a two with a one, and Robinson gets it through the left side of the field. That is a base hit. Ogilvy brings it in the out, but Robinson is standing on first base. Bando just could not get to the ball in time. Sharply hit by Bill Robinson. Phil Garner comes up. Scrappy second baseman, 5-12, and Garner goes down swinging. That's Sorensen's second strike out of the evening. Two down, bottom of the second. Bill Robinson on first, catcher Ed Ott comes up. Facing Sorensen. That's a 5-5, hard ground ball to second base. Paul Molitor scoops it up cleanly, gets it over to Cecil Cooper. Third out of the inning. Which brings us to the top of the third inning, and... Larry Sorensen with his first plate appearance of the season against Bruce Keeson. 6-4, and Sorensen goes down swinging. Out number one. It brings us back to the top of the order. Paul Molitor facing Bruce Keeson. 5-8, and Molitor starts things off there with a single. His second consecutive hit of the game. Third hit in a row. Three straight at bats with a single. Brings up Sixto Lescano. That streak dating back to the game last night. One away. Lescano takes Keeson's pitch. Outside ball four. Molitor moves up to second. Men at first and second with one away. Cecil Cooper comes up. And Cooper, a 308 batter, 24 homers. He's not bunting. He's swinging 6 9, gets a no star single. Mollet around third, and Lescano is following. Mollet is thrown out at the plate. We're going to call that 9 2 because Parker is just like that. Lescano follows him over to third. We have men at the corners. Two outs. Ben Ogilvy comes to the plate. Brewers, ah, oh, they thought they had the run. Keeson's pitch. 4-4. Four, four. X result to third base. Madlock's a 3 with a 7. Hard ground ball to Bill Madlock. He scoops it up, gets it over to Willie Stargell for out number 3. And the Brewers threaten, but they cannot come through. Yeah, I think when Cecil Cooper hit that single, I think Bruce Keeson had his life flash before his eyes. Tim Foley, 8th in the order, leading off bottom of the third against Sorensen. 5-7. Ground to short. Yount is a 2. Looking for a 7. Ground ball to Robin Yount. He scoops it up, gets it over to Cecil Cooper. Beats Foley to first base with the throw easily. So that is one away. Bruce Keeson comes up to the plate. His first at bat here in the World Series. Facing Sorensen. 3-4, hard ground ball back to the box. Sorensen picks it up. He gets it over to Cooper for out number two. And that'll bring us back to the top of the order. And Omar Marino, center fielder, facing Sorensen. Second time, grounded to short, first time up. 6-8, and he lines a hard one, rips it to Cooper. Cooper gets his glove exactly where it needed to be. That is out number three. So after three innings, it is a perfect scoreless game. Well, perhaps not perfect in baseball terms, but you know what I meant. Charlie Moore leading off top of the fourth. One, eight, and he leads off the inning with a single. Charlie Moore has been very productive standing up at home base, let alone crouching behind it in this series. Gorman Thomas Man on first. Two, five, and Thomas hits this Keeson pitch. Long fly ball. It is screaming for the outfield.
Bill Robinson back against the wall, watches it go over. Home run, Gorman Thomas. Touch them all, Gorman. Charlie Moore scores. Gorman Thomas scores. Brew Crew take a two-run lead, top of the fourth inning. So Robin Yount comes up to face Bruce Keith. 5-4 fly ball to deep center field. Omar Moreno tracks underneath it, and he makes the catch easily enough. That is one away. Third baseman Sal Bando trots out of the dugout. He gets uh, up to the plate, takes a couple warm-up swings. Here comes Keeson with the pitch to nine fly ball to center field. Omar Moreno is called on once again, and he makes this catch as easily as the first. That is two away. Top of the fourth inning, and Larry Sorensen comes to the plate. A couple of weak warm-up swings. Five. 12, back to the box, a hard hit ground ball, gets a real good piece of it, but Keeson knocks it down, gets it over to Willie Stargell, out number three, but the Brew Crew draws first blood. Your score going into the bottom of the fourth, Milwaukee Brewers two, Pittsburgh Pirates zero. Bill Madlock is going to lead off the bottom of the fourth, heart of the Pirates order, maybe they can get the runs back. The pitch from Sorensen, three, four. Four. Ground ball back to the box. Sorensen off his shoulder. Gets his glove on it. Hands it over to Cooper for out number one. Doesn't really look like it hurt him or anything. It was his, uh, his glove shoulder. He shakes it off, rubs it a little bit. Moore walks out to make sure he's fine. Yeah, he's nodding his head. Looks like Sorensen's going to stay in the game. Not a problem at all. He's doing very well. So here comes Dave Parker. One away. The pitch from Sorensen, 5-8. Dave Parker hits this. It is a long fly ball. Back goes Sixto Lescano, and he chases it to the warning track over the right field fence. Dave Parker, solo home run, bottom of the fourth. Dave Parker scores. So with one out, the Pirates do get one back. Willie Stargell facing Sorensen. 1-6, and Sorensen catches Stargell swinging second time of the game. Two straight strikeouts for Pops at Sorensen's hands. Two down, Bill Robinson comes up to the plate. 1-11, pops it up high over third base. Sal Bando takes a couple of steps back, another step back in. And he makes that play no problem. Pirates play to run. They're down by one, going to the top of the fifth. Paul Molitor will lead things off, lead off batter for the Brewers, facing Bruce Keeson. 5-10, the Strat Bug. 5-10, and Paul Molitor connects on this one. Back, back, back goes Omar Moreno, drifting over to left center, and Molitor's shot goes over the fence. Solo, home run, Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor scores. The Brewers get that one back. Keeson uh, not showing quite so much control this evening. The Brewers are just tagging him pretty good. Here comes Sixto Lescano. 3-10, and Lescano draws a walk. His second time getting a free pass in this game. Knows, seems to know what Keeson's going to throw, and he's got the patience to wait him out. Cecil Cooper comes up, none away. Cooper's... Wings away, 5-9 on Keeson's pitch, and that is a two-star single. That's going to knock Lescano around a third. And Ed Ott trots out and has a little conversation with Bruce Keeson. Hey, everything going all right there, my pitcher? want to make sure because uh, this is kind of starting to get out of hand. want to make sure we're all right. And Keeson says, get your butt back behind the plate. I got work to do. All right, here we go. So Cecil Cooper, men at the corners. Cooper on first, Les Cano on third. None out. Run already across, Ben Ogilvie. Five, eight, fly ball to right field. Dave Parker goes back, and he makes the catch. And Sixto Les Cano tags up, and he is going to score... 
Zach Nine Dot for the RBI. Six still has Cano scores. One out. Cecil Cooper on first. Catcher Charlie Moore comes to the plate. The Brewers are up by three. Five nine off Keeson's card and Charlie Moore smacks this one to the corner. There is no getting to it. Bill Robinson fumbling for it. Finally gets it out from underneath the retainer wall. But Charlie Moore slides in underneath the tag for a triple. An RBI triple. Cecil Cooper scores. Chuck Tanner walks out to the mound. And he taps his right arm. And the Buckos are calling for Don Robinson. So Bruce Keeson, four and a third's inning of work, gives up four runs, five runs, five earned runs, and he's still got a run he's responsible for on third base. One out, Don Robinson gets his warm-up done. Gorman Thomas comes to the plate. Three, six, and Thomas lines out hard to Madlock for out number two. Charlie Moore standing 90 feet away with run number six. Robin Yount. Robin Yount. Five. Ten. Robin Yount gets a single right over Garner's head. Charlie Moore scores. So with two outs, here we go. Top of the fifth. Sal Bando with Yount on first. Don Robinson's pitch, 3-5, and Bando gets a single. Brewers are on fire. Robin Yount is on second. He is going to run for third with a 114 there. And he's not going to get it. He is not going to get it. I wouldn't say they got greedy. They just know the Pirates' ability to really, really pile on the runs. They were going for every bit they could get. Yount thought he could make it around, but he couldn't. So that's going to be a 6-1 to one Milwaukee Brewer lead going to the bottom of the fifth inning. And Phil Garner is going to come up second baseman for the Pirates. Leading off against Larry Sorensen. Garner, 4-7. That's an X result to Molitor at second. He's a 2 with a 15. Hard ground ball to Paul Molitor. Molitor boots it. Phil Garner gets on first base safely. It wasn't pretty, but he's on first. That's kind of what counts. Ed Ott. Ed Ott is going to lay down the bunt. 12 pops up to the catcher, catches Garner off the bag. He fires it up to Cooper for the double play. I have not rolled so many 12s on sacrifices in such a short amount of time. Two, three, double play. And it looks like the Pirates can do no right in this game. Tim Foley, two outs. Facing Sorensen, bottom of the fifth. Two, five, fly ball to left field. Ben Oglevy gets underneath it, and uh, he makes the catch easily. So after five innings, it's 6-1 Milwaukee. So leading off is going to be Larry Sorensen, trying to help his own cause, facing Don Robinson. Top of the sixth, four, three, and Sorensen goes down swinging. And it's out number one. Paul Molitor homered his last time up. He has hit four consecutive hits. Five in Pittsburgh so far. Including the homer. Three, five. And that split is a six. And he hits a double. He is a triple away from hitting the cycle in this game. Paul Molitor stands on second with one out. Sixto Lescano comes up. He's swinging away. Two, eight, and misses the skinny little home run split, but he get, does get a double. Molitor rounds third. Molitor scores.
RBI double for Sixto Lescano. And the Brewers just keep on piling them on. Cecil Cooper facing Don Robinson. Man on second. 3-7. Fly ball to right field. Dave Parker is back. He gets underneath it. He makes the catch. Lescano tries to tag up, but he is held at second base. Um, Parker's arm just gets in there. Lescano is not going to make it. So Ogilvy comes up with two down. Ben Ogilvy 6-8 off Robinson's card. Fly ball to center field. Omar Marino is back. He tracks underneath it. He makes the catch. And that is going to be out number three, but the Brew Crew plates one more. Station identification. This is the Stratomatic Broadcasting Network. Um, go to www.stratomatic.com. All right, here we go. Top of the bottom of the sixth. And we're going to have a batting chain. Yes, Lee Lacey is going to pinch hit for Don Robinson. So here we go, bottom of the sixth. Sorensen with the pitch. 1-8, hard ground ball to Robin Yount. He gets it over to Cecil Cooper. No problem at all making that play. Routine ground ball for out number one. That's going to bring up Omar Moreno. Center fielder, leadoff batter, one away, bottom of the sixth. To eight and uh, fly ball to right field. Sixto Lescano gets underneath it and he is there to make the play. Two away. Bill Madlock comes up. Larry Sorensen. Five, four, and uh, ground ball X result to third. Bando is a two with an 11. Hard ground ball at Sal Bando and Bando cannot get it. Bando mishandles that one. They're going to charge him with an error. Da -da 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 right there. Error. So Bill Madlock with two down, bottom of the sixth. Doesn't matter how it happened, once again, but we got a man on first and Dave Parker up at the plate. Could use a little bit of fireworks right now. Parker, six, nine, pops it up behind second base. Paul Molitor takes a few steps back over to the left and makes the play so after six your score milwaukee brewers seven pittsburgh pirates one we go in the top of the seventh inning brew crew comes to the plate charlie moore is going to lead things off against relief pitcher jim bibby two eight hard wrap shot at bill madlock he gets his glove on it easily gets it over to willie stargell and that is one away top of the seventh Brings up Gorman Thomas. Did a homer in his second at bat back in the fourth inning. Jim Bibby. His pitch, 3 7 outside, ball four, and Gorman Thomas is on base. One away, top of the seventh. Robin Yount comes to the plate, facing Jim Bibby. Here is the pitch after getting the signal from Ed Ott. 2-7, and Robin Yount with a single. Mormon Thomas holds up at second. They got enough of a lead. I don't think they really want to run it in. Great sportsmanship on the part of the Brewers. And Sal Bando comes up. A minute first and second. One away. 6-10, fly ball to center field, Omar Moreno tracks back underneath it, he uh, puts his glove up and the ball falls right into it, that is two away, minute first and second, and that is going to bring up pitcher Larry Sorensen, who is staying in the game, he comes out the bat, 3-10, hard ground ball to Bill Madlock, he gets it over to Willie Stargell easily for out number three. So no run scored by the Brewers. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The old ball game. Willie Stargell leading off bottom of the seventh against Sorensen. Pops make it happen. Four, six. Pops up behind first base. Cecil Cooper takes a few steps towards Molitor. Calls him off and makes the out. 
one away and the Pirates' uh, opportunities are fading. They're running out of outs just like the Brewers were last night. Bill Robinson, one away, bottom of the seventh. Three, six, and he hits a single right over top of Robin Yount's head. Ben Ogilvy comes up with it and tosses it back into Yount. That is one man on, one man out. Phil Garner, scrap iron, comes to the plate. 311 and Sorensen gets one by him, hugging the upper outside corner. Strikeout. Garner did not swing. He let that one, he let the one two go, and he thought he was going to get a ball on that one, but no, Sorensen snuck it in the corner. Two away, at odd. One seven, ground ball to third. Sal Bando scoops it up, gets it over to Cecil Cooper. Out number three, nothing doing for the Pirates. We go to the top of the eighth inning. They're leading off against Jim Bibby. Six, four, and that's a fly ball to right. Dave Parker underneath it. He makes the catch for out number one. One down, six to Les Cano against Bibby. That's a six, that was a two. Six, four. Fly ball to right field. Dave Parker back underneath this one. Makes this catch just about as easily for the second out. Cecil Cooper. Third in the order. Third against Bibby. In the top of the eighth. Two, six, and he draws a walk. So Cecil Cooper is on first base. Cleanup batter Ben Ogilvy comes up facing Bibby. And Ogilvy, one, six. He draws a walk as well. Files in the line right behind Cooper. Two men on, two men out. Charlie Moore comes up, facing Jim Bibby. 6-4 fly ball to deep right field. Dave Parker is back. He's back there. He makes the catch. So no runs in the top of the eighth. So Tim Foley is going to be batting for the Pirates, leading off. 2-10. Ground ball back to the box. Sorensen gets it and dishes it over to Cooper for out number one. Pirates are going to pinch hit for Jim Bibby. John Milner comes out of the dugout. He steps up to the plate. Sorensen's pitch. 5-5. Five, five. Hard ground ball to Paul Molitor. He gets it over to Cecil Cooper for out number two. We go back to the top of the order. That is going to bring up Omar Moreno, center fielder. Pirates are running out of time. 5-9. And Moreno gets a triple. Marino is standing on third base. Bill Madlock comes to the plate. Two outs. Bottom of the eighth. Down by six runs. Three, seven. Fly ball to left field. Ben Ogilvy gets underneath it, and that is out number three. So the Pirates don't make anything happen in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. Score is Milwaukee seven, Pittsburgh one. Grant Jackson relieving in for Jim Bibby facing Gorman Thomas. That is a 5-2. Ground ball to first. Willie Stargell grabs it and steps on the bag for out number one. Brings up shortstop Robin Yount. Jackson's pitch, 6-9. Robin Yount gets a double. So Robin Yount on second base. One out, top of the ninth. Brings up third baseman Sal Bando. Albando, 3-9. Fly ball to left field. Bill Robinson gets underneath it. No trouble with that. He is out number two. And Sorensen is going to stay in the game. They plan on pitching.